With both guys officially introduced, we take a look across the cage. Red corner, Johnny Mello, yellow, white shorts, blue corner, black shorts, white stripe, Jesse Pyers. Both guys exchange some leg kicks. Fakes the leg kick, Mello. We mentioned he was a wrestler, but showed a little bit of uh, nice footwork there in the stand-up. Pyers goes for the takedown, quick little scramble, nicely grabbing onto that guillotine. Mello flips out of it. Both guys back to their feet. Nice little bounce of the step with Mello. A little more active. Pyres is usually it's his style, a little bit more straight up, straight boxing stance. Big straight right, misses the mark, Mello shoots under, gets the takedown. Immediately looking to pass. Throws the left to soften it up. Pyre's doing a nice job holding on, trying to prevent damage from being done. Deep overhook on this near side. Shooting for that underhook, going for the sweep. Not able to do it. Big right hand from Mello on top. Really working that body. Big right to the head. Pyre's able to pop back up. Once again, Mello shoots under, going for the takedown. Pyre's grabs onto the guillotine, but's not able to get it. Now shooting under the leg, maybe looking for an armbar here. Some great wrestling shown there by Mello. Big right hand finds the mark again. Nice ground upon, but Pyre's able to get up, but he eats a right hand. On his way up. Pumps the jab. Once again, Mello shoots right underneath and gets the takedown. Pyre's holding on here. Mello showing some big power in the ground upon, really throwing everything he has into those, those overhand rights as he's standing up. Lands the left, trying to let Pyres up. Big right hand connects, kind of pushes him back over. But as I mentioned, Pyres doesn't go away easy. Mello fakes the, fakes the punch, shoots under for another takedown. See some visible swelling over the left eye of Pyres as we hear the 10 second mark of the rounds. Holding on to the guillotine, really can't finish it. Well, it's impossible to finish pretty much from when the guy's mounted on top of you, but in a way it's holding on to him and preventing damage and any ground and pound strikes to be done from that position. As round one done. Definitely first round goes to Mello as we take a look at it as he pops up out of the corner. He showed the dominant wrestling, pretty much getting the takedowns at will. And has some very, very solid ground and pound. As you look over in the blue corner, Pyre's still bouncing around. Touch the gloves. Round two's underway. Much like the start of the first, both guys exchange leg kicks. Feeling out process to start this round. Both guys kind of throwing strikes from a little bit farther out of the range. Big left hand, low cut kick, right into a takedown from Mello. Quickly moves to mounts. Nice job, really kind of sprawling out, grapevine. Pyres is able to get the leg free. Still finds himself on bottom of mount, holding on to that overhook. 
Mello beautifully puts the knee on the bicep to try to pin it down. Pires pops up. Eats two big rights. Oh, big right hand connects. Pires has got to be careful. When he's trying to get up, he's eating two or three rights like that as he's trying to get up. It looks like he's trying to go for a footlock here. Mello just spins around, lands some more punches. He's got to make sure he's protecting his face as he's trying to get up. He's doing a nice job of getting the feet on the hips and kicking off to create space to stand up, but he's not protecting his head. And every time, Mello's connecting big bombs here. everything he has into it. Jesse's still staying active, another one. It takes a lot to put Jesse Pires out. I've seen him in a fight with Ramo Cotterelli, um, eating some big shots at the end of the third round. The ref ended up having to step in and stop the fight, but Jesse was still on his feet. Coming forward, but you know, you, you can't keep eating these punches because the referee is trying to, like, look out for the safety of these amateur fighters. And they, they have a tendency of stopping fights, you know, see the guys eating damage. They want to kind of save them the fight another day. As Mello's here in mount, 10-second mark again, really unloading on some lefts-right combinations. Some big damage here at the end of the round, really starting to connect cleanly on these punches. There you have round two. Another dominating round for Johnny Mello. Really utilizing his wrestling base to get the fight to the ground. Big power shots from this 125er. Heavy, heavy hands. Really throwing everything he has into these rights and lefts and these ground and pawns. Some vicious ground and pawns. You don't see that quite often from 125. It's a small weight class. But here we are, round three, third and final round. Misses on the big left hook. Pires grabs the kick, drives for the takedown. Mello fights with the overhook and reverses position. Finds himself once again on top. Big left, right, connects. Four punch combination, really connecting on the money there. Referee's trying to get a closer look. He may stop this. Pires working for the, the footlock again. When that happens, though, you're, you, both your hands are on the leg. You can't. You have nothing to protect your face. And you, know, you see this overhead shot, face really badly bruised and beat up of Jesse Pires. As Mello just punches his way out of the footlock. Another big right. Pires grabs onto the ankle. Mello pulls out. Now finds himself on top once again. Throwing some lefts down. Pires tries to get back on top. He's not able to do it. And that's... that's uh, I thought maybe the referee was going to stop it because he was, wasn't really responding to the punches. But I think he was giving a warning for the back of the head shots. Not really sure what's going on now. I think the referee's seen enough. Let's see what's going on here. Is that it? Yep, referee's calling it. Seeing one too many punches go to the head of Pyres. Maybe stopping him for his own good. Maybe he's trying to, like I mentioned earlier, trying to protect the fighters. He was taking a lot of damage, a lot of shots. It was kind of evident he wasn't getting out from that position. Both doctors checking out that eye. Really starting to close up on Jesse Pyres. Took a lot of shots in that fight. Referee, I think he's seen enough. 
I'm actually just getting kind of word that it was actually the doctors kind of yelling into the cage to um, so the referee, calling for them to stop the fight. Is that warrior scared on Pirates? He's, he's mad. He's pissed off that he doesn't want them to stop that fight. Getting some words of encouragement from teammate Stephen Langlais. But all that being said, very, very impressive debut from Johnny Mello out of Y Crew. Unbelievable performance, great wrestling base, really using it to dominate the fight and dictate where the fight took place. Not only did he just have that wrestling base, he had some devastating ground and pound for a 125 uh, pound guy. Definitely somebody to be looking out for in the future. Great debut, can't bring him enough praise. Great job, Johnny Mello. Can we have a round of applause for these two look at that eye and you can see why doctors and the referee jumped in to stop that fight.